Hi everyone, I've been designing with Remax. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, where to start because this market is getting crazier and crazier by the day, I guess. Um, anyway, let's just uh, start with the listings. Right now we have an extremely low inventory for this time of the year. Uh, we only have 98 listings, which is again very low for uh, let's say today the, the 2nd of March. Uh, usually the listings are coming in uh, much quicker than this. However, it seems that the lower end, again, is still selling quite a bit. Let me get into that here. Uh, so far this month, we've had uh, 83 sales, which is unheard of almost for a month of February because if you look at last year, we had 50 sales. So we had almost double the amount of sales. You have only a hundred listings and you sell almost a hundred. So how can you build an inventory? Everything sells right away. But very, very interestingly here, um, coming to the listings here, we've been, if you look at the average days on the market, it's 56 days, which is very long, but that is skewed with the high price listings. You got to remember also here in Halton Hills, the average list price is 1.484, so almost a million and a half. Yes, you heard this right. A million and a half is the average list price for what's listed right now. Usually it's not that high. It's because the lower end is selling very rapidly and the ones that are staying on the markets, it's anything over a million, two, a million, three, two million, name it. And, uh, but if you look at the ones that have been selling for the month of uh, February, uh, the average list price or the average sales price, I should say, is nine twenty three. Uh, what has caused this for the, um, it's almost like a two seven, 2017 all over again. Now, uh, we're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing many listings going way, way above the listings. And we're talking not just 10,000, we're talking nearly a hundred thousand dollars over asking yes you heard this right almost a hundred thousand over asking i don't know i don't know what to say um last year the average was 769 sale price and selling in 24 days and this year 26 days so it's, that part is is very similar um what has caused i think this year is that um the stress test has come down as the interest rates came down a little bit. The uh, stress test came down, so it gave uh, a little bit more purchasing power to uh, to a uh, to a buyer and could get a bigger mortgage. Um, I think on the short term, I think we're going to see still the interest rates uh, falling. As you know, there's this uh, coronavirus scare. And uh, there's been uh, some jittering on the stock market. So all of that put together, uh, it looks like they're going to reduce the interest rates. And if they reduce the interest rates a little more, that means that people, maybe the in investors and people are just going to go straight into the housing and saying, that looks like the safe asset. And that looks like the one asset that keeps on going up. And I'm going to keep on bidding and, and putting my money into the housing. But if the interest rates were to go to five, six, seven, eight percent, like like we've seen before, even fifteen percent, this it could be very, very devastating to uh, to the housing market. However, like I said, for the short term, medium term, I think we're okay. I'm just thinking maybe long term. But so far, like I said, there's been a frenzy again. If so, if you're thinking about selling, uh, let's say if you're a person with uh, your uh, empty nesters. And uh, you think, you know, should I sell my house now or whatever? Maybe it's a good time because it's always a good time for a good time for downsizing when the market is high. When the market is going the reverse, it's a good time to upgrade because then the higher price ones come down maybe a little faster than the lower one. Anyway, if you have any question on that, on want to find out how the market is doing, find out what your house is worth. Give me a call, reply to this video. I'll be glad to give you a, an evaluation or uh, my opinion on your particular situation. In the meantime, have a great day.